What's up? What's up? Guitars N70 here, and today I have a, another video for you, and we're going to be talking about this harmonic minor scale in the key of A. Endless possibilities. I myself am just actually starting to really kind of explore these harmonic minors, um, and I'm having a lot of fun with them because I'm usually a pentatonic and a natural minor kind of guy, um, but I find that you, these mix really well with those other two um, scales so let's check it out and the other thing is don't let it throw you the speed or anything like that I'm not a speed guy believe it or not um, I just do it as a means to an end I, I like to be able to think I can play fast I'm really not a fast player um, but these sound really good with a lot of feel okay so let me show you where this is and I'm playing it and it's totally movable the scale is movable um, in any key right so here um, this is not the entire scale. I'll show you the scale the way it's supposed to be played. It's like this. Okay, but for the purposes of this lick, I'm going to show you what I did there. Okay, and so what I did was I started off with a... I'm just holding the 12th fret on the A string and just kind of giving it some vibrato. Sounds nice on a. There's a lot of noise, but on a single coil, you could go to the neck position. You could even. You know, see, I'm trying to find it too. I, in my head, I can take that up another one. So, what would that be? If I wanted to. Anyway, I'm way, way off track, way off track. Um, so let's go back. 12th fret, A string. What I did in the intro was I went uh, 14 and a half step bend up. Then I went to the D string and I went 14th fret, half step bend. And just releasing it back. Then I did this. So I just played these little intervals here. I went 12, 15 on the A, and then 13, 16 on the D, and 14, 16 on the D. Then at the B string, I went 13, 15, 17. So, so far we have. Then I'm gonna go on the E string, 13, 16, 17. Then I hit it uh, another, hit it one more time, and then bent it up. Bend and release, full step. That's the 17th fret on the E string. Then I'm gonna move to the 19th fret and move and do a half step bend up and release. Then to the 22nd fret, full step bend, give it a little more. Now you can really sting those notes, you can hold them longer, do whatever you want. And then this fast riff was um, 17, 19, 20. I'm just going up and back. Two. Ending on 20 on the B string with a uh, full step bend up. Now there's a couple variations you can do there if you want. Um, this I find is the easiest for me. If you were going to play it in the actual scale, it would sound like this. So you're playing what I showed you, 17, 19, 20, but you're, but you're actually anchoring at the 16th and you're playing 16, 17, 19, 20, instead of going 17, 19, 20, instead of going, you're going. Hear this note. But that's a little too tough for me. I'm not used to playing with all my fingers going just. So I just do, it's a minor. It's really a, a, a natural minor. Because I play that all the time. I mean, tons of rock songs have that lick in there. Right? 
Okay, and then what I did was um, I dropped down and did this same thing. I was, I don't know if you watched my channel last week, but I have a short out there on it, and you're, you're doing this. It's uh, 10, 12, 13 on the B, 12, 13, I'm sorry, uh, 10, 12, 13 on the E. So you're going up and back, slide down to nine on the B, and then uh, do 10 on the B, 12 on the B, 10 on the B, nine on the B. So all together it's Then you're gonna do 10, nine, seven on the G, and back up. 10, nine, seven, nine, 10. So it's. And then the last is um, nine, seven, six. Nine seven six seven. You're gonna so all together. I'm gonna pick these notes, but you. But I'm not picking them. Obviously, I was doing a legato run there. But this is what the notes that you're gonna hit. Actually. So have some fun with that and uh, tune in next week and I should have another riff for you. All right. Have a good day.